This is still incredible because I'm, now I'm, I'm retracing the steps that you're asking me to focus on. And I remember I'd heard of you and Abraham for years and like I said, just got introduced through the book. Then I went on your, your, the web page and saw events and wow, you're coming to town. I mean, that's how fast it happened and now to be in this chair. And I remember saying if I ever got in the hot seat, I, would, I wanted to ask, is there such thing as delusion? I mean, we're, we're creating, ex <laughs> well, we're creating experience here. We're in human imagining. Terms, yes. In human terms, looking beyond what is, is always considered delusion. And that's what that's what the definition of delusion would be but for our purposes it's a good thing but they usually they write off people who are have grandiose ideas as delusional and I want to be delusional I want to think of things that aren't <laughs> thought of before yeah. I mean, they're, that's funny but I mean that's 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 where my creativity comes from is going well I don't like what is so what can I make and that's where we came ac across the idea we're working on the thing is the greatest creators on your planet were always dreaming of something beyond what was and when they were able to accomplish it then they are called masters but when you're still in the gap they call you delusional <laughs> you see so the world only wants to recognize your brilliance after you have maintained your positive expectation and accomplished the consistent frequency which allows it until it manifests into your experience you just can't listen to the peanut gallery because at the same time that they're calling you delusional once you accomplish it then they call you greedy for having more than they have so you just sort of have to leave everybody else out of the equation and master your own gap take pleasure from your gap that really is the way we would approach life Ooh, to want something that I don't have how fresh and sweet that is knowing that I can have it it's sweet believing that I can't have it it's sour but to want something and believe in the possibility of it to believe in to believe that all children can go to bed fed that's a dream worth dreaming but to believe that you have enough to buy whatever you want that's a dream worth dreaming too in other words you don't have to feel bad about the things that you are personally advocating because there is no one who advocates for you more powerfully than the source within you and if you're not in alignment with that advocation you're denying yourself the very beingness that is you you see don't take a poll on what the world thinks about anything because the world is confused <laughs> instead let your life show you what you want get a bead on it focus on it feel the energy that creates worlds coursing through you and watch the results of your focused power <clears throat> we know the deliciousness within you when you feel worthiness and we also know that the path to your unequivocal chronic feeling of worthiness is vibrational alignment with the source within you nothing will make you feel more loved than the universe yielding to you your heart's desires the universe has always been yielding to you your heart's desires but in your determination that you are not worthy you don't let it in and then humans squabble over the spoils rather than embracing the abundance that is ever increasing it's as if humans think there's one pie and you're just you've just hacked the life out of it you're dividing it up and you're just squabbling over who gets the pieces of this pie not even recognizing that you just create another pie and 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 another pie leave those pies alone and let them fight over those pies go create your own pie you see because source is endless with ingredients and opportunities and paths and ideas and that's really why you're here you didn't come for pie <laughs> or for your piece of it you came for the thrill of the creation of it you came for the way it feels when energy courses through you you came for the way it feels when a new idea is born within you or you've allowed yourself to realize the the deliciousness of it and then that's just the beginning because now it's going to fill in with all of the details I say effortlessly